Policymaker should adopt strategies and policies in defense of biodiversity, from regulations to control and management tools, from communication to market instruments capable of stimulating virtues and environmentally friendly behavior through financial incentives such as taxes on polluting products or processes, or through the creation of a market for pollution rights. I'm Valeria Barbie and I'm an expert on biodiversity and climate change. I'm a scientific communicator and book author. All governments should also work to create an environment that welcomes intergovernmental bodies and international policymakers, so as including citizens into the decision-making process by organizing structured participatory processes. Policymakers must also work to expand protected areas and bring into existence regulations in defense of biodiversity that must be strictly enforced with justice and care. Finally, an inclusive global agreement to apply the nature positive principle must be found as soon as possible. This last assumes that we can never solve the problems of equality, poverty and access to resources if we do not first work to establish health of the biosphere. The goals to be achieved in order to have a world whose natural balance is positive are a net zero loss of biodiversity by 2020 and halting and inversioning the curve indicating biodiversity loss by 2030 relative to 2020.